Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And those of you that are new, welcome to Debo's Nation. I got a great one for you today. It's LIA gets trespassed from a probation office in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking here because I want to let the video stand for itself. So without further ado, let's take a look. are not permitted to film on the premises, all right? So you've been informed. So if you continue to film, we're going to take action here. You can stop videotaping me. You want me to walk you out? Oh, no, I'm okay. I have to get some more, uh, some more footage no, in here. No, I was asked for you to leave or we'll call the state police. Uh, I don't want to leave the camera. <laughs> and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm ready to get back to you. You understand? No, There's you're no not. one lying here. Sir, why are you being so aggressive? I have, I've been very respectful towards you. There's no need for you to make faces and act like a child. What the hell did he say? You're a sergeant of the Connecticut State Police. Don't act like a petulant child. But you here in Hartford, Connecticut, excuse me, Corrupticate, we are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting inside the probation office. We just passed through the metal detector here. We're going to wait here to do a FOIA request. Yes, ma'am, do you have FOIA request forms? Mm -hmm. Do you have FOIA request forms? The Freedom of Information Act oh, oh. for public <laughs> records? Never <laughs> heard of it? When you go to your PO, you're going to see a PO? No, 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 I'm not talking to a PO. Oh, okay, I was going to say ask them. Um, that was a really great service by the um, front desk. You call this bad customer service, but did you not see she was on the phone? You just walk in there and waltz right in there and think that she's going to drop everything because you're standing there asking her questions about a stupid FOIA request that you're not going to do anything with anyway. <laughs> and that's bad customer service because she didn't give you 100% of her attention. What an idiot. Can you call? So who are you here to see? Oh, I'm, I'm here to do a FOIA request. For, for probation? For probation, yeah. For public Let records. Let me ask my, my chief one Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Are you filming? I'm sorry? Are you filming me? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures. Well, I'm not filming. Well, now I'm filming you, yeah. But I'm taking pictures and video in general. Do I have rights for you not to film me? Do you have rights for me not to film you? Not to film me? Um, no, because we're in public. That's why there's cameras everywhere. Yes. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I just spoke to you over the phone. Yeah. I just wanted to give you external affairs information and okay. they'll be able to give you anything that you're requesting. All right, thank you. Appreciate okay. it. Have a nice day. You're welcome. Thank you. See, I was told you have to exit and call external affairs. Oh, well, I'll be calling you external affairs? Yeah. Judicial branch. Yep. State of Connecticut. Okay. Yep. Thank you for the information. Sure. You want me to walk you out? Oh, no, I'm okay. I have to get some more uh, some more footage no, in here. No, I was asked for you to leave or we'll call the state police to ask you to leave. Get out. We're here to learn. Anybody else have a problem with that? Uh, who who From told? my supervisor. Your supervisor? Who yep. is? You can stop videotaping me, but you can leave. Who is your supervisor, ma'am? External affairs. Who is your supervisor? You see, this is a nervous tick that this idiot has. Every time he doesn't know what to say, he repeats himself. So it gives him an extra second or two to think about what to say next. This guy is a pure idiot. I just want to know where this order is coming from. For me Regional leave. manager. Regional manager? Yeah. And his name or her name? You can leave or I can just call the state police to come get you, to escort you out. But why would I need to leave? Because it's a state building and you're videotaping. You don't have permission to videotape here. We don't even allow people to videotape here. Oh, who do I get the permission from? External Affairs. They give me permission to videotape oh, inside That's what of I was directed to tell you. State. Uh, I don't need permission from anybody, ma'am, unfortunately, for you. I wish that for only one day Dad couldn't tell a lie.
So that is the supervisor of the facility here. She gave me this card, State of Connecticut, Judicial Branch, External Affairs. Just everybody gets on a power trip when they want to tell you to stop exercising your constitutional rights. It doesn't make any sense. Where's the transparency? This is a public building. We are going to wait here under all of their cameras being recorded without giving them permission for state police to arrive. So you're always so concerned about the cameras you see in the ceiling and on the walls and all over the place. Well, why don't you just pull them? You don't even have to video record. But the only reason why you have to video record is because it's you that's the problem and not the camera. Hopefully they're educated on our constitutional rights and they're not like tyrant Sergeant Brian Fahey. Hopefully she just gets educated over the phone on our constitutional rights and the situation to doesn't escalate. Uh, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> We're all on camera every day. Oh, LIA, you never get it. Yes, we're all on the security cameras in the buildings, but we're not on your camera. Big difference there, because you're an idiot. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. like a horse's patoot. You mind if I get your name and badge number, sir? Louie, 950. Thank you, sir. Um, appreciate it. Regards to media, it does say that you need to have permission. We have that also in our lobby. Right, ma'am. But if you read the top, it's talking about courtrooms. You just got to read the top paragraph. And, uh, oh, I know. But we consider this because it's a state building for judicial branch. It's part of It's not a courtroom, courtroom. though. It's not, though. Okay, now, he's not trying to make this awkward or anything, is he? <laughs> hey, loser. You might have had to get your name at badge number two, Trooper. It's Sergeant Richardson, badge number 268. Thank you, sir. Appreciate uh, it. Troop Agent Hartford. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. All right, come with me. Sure. 
Keep your body camera on. <laughs> Hey, sir. I'm just taking some pictures and video. I'm not trying to harass anybody. I got I've been really cordial we're with we're everybody. I'm going to figure this out and I'll get back to you, all right? All right, sounds good. Sounds good. I love how he starts into his little spew there of what he's going to say, and then the officer shuts him down right away. That's awesome. Love it. So why would you think this is a courthouse, ma'am? Or a courtroom, rather. Is there a reason why you think that? I'm just curious, that's all. I'm really not trying to... We need to ask you some questions, okay? Argue with you about anything. I'm trying to have a dialogue with you and a discussion about why you would think that. That elevator is really long to get down. They really gotta fix it. So ladies and gentlemen, that was extremely awkward. So as I was walking out, I was gonna take some pictures and video around the facility here. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to bullshit. And as I'm walking out, the two state troopers, the sergeant and the officer here arrived on the scene. And I guess we're waiting on some the regional directors to input themselves in here. So, sir, if I could just get some clarification from you. Uh, what You were talking about um, unlawful assembly. Is that what you mentioned? No, that's not what I said. And I'll get back to you as soon as I'm ready to get back to you. You understand? No, I'm just... I, I, get, I get it, right? So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. No, I just want to... Right, 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 right. So you'll get no context from me, you understand? So I will get back to you. You gotta relax. No, no, you, you gotta, gotta relax. relax. I'm literally having you. a conversation with you. you, sir. De-escalate. Okay. De-escalate. I, I guess I'm just not going to talk to you, engage you, because you're asking me a question. Right. I'm and asking. I'm answering it, and right. you don't like the response. No, you're not answering it. You're saying that you're not going you're to right. answer I'm it. You're right. I'm not going to answer. Right. So that's not an answer okay, to the so question. Okay, so you're not going to get an answer to there the question. There you go. You, you can say that. Okay. You just you don't need to lie and say that you're answering I, the question when you're not. Sir, why are you being so aggressive? I have, I've been very respectful towards you. There's no need for you to make faces and act like a child. You're a sergeant of the Connecticut State Police. Don't act like a petulant child, sir. You gotta grow up. This guy is fucking stupid! <laughs> Seriously. Conduct yourself with decorum. Professionalism. Treat the members of the public with respect. If a Walmart employer or a McDonald's employee treated the customer the way you were just talking to me, they'd be fired. But you think you're above the public. You think you can talk to people the way you want. Stop it. Get some help. Because you got that shiny badge and the gun on your waist, you think you could just say and talk to people and give people childish faces, right? Come on, man. You gotta grow up. You gotta grow up. Really. It's ridiculous. How'd you become sergeant being so unprofessional? I know another unprofessional sergeant. You must be friends with Sergeant Brian Fahey. That's what it is. You must be friends with him. That's exactly what it is. That must be your best friend, isn't it? Ridiculous. Are we having a staring contest, Sergeant? You're really acting like a child, like a petulant child. Really. It's very unbecoming for the Connecticut State Police. You're a public servant. I never was disrespectful to you, unless you 
think that asking for your name and badge number is disrespectful in I any way. Again, you'll <laughs> this get guy. zero contact from me. Excuse me, man. You know, they preach that you have to create your own privacy, but look at the lengths he's going to interrupt his privacy. He's walking away from him and he's following him every step of the way like a little baby. No reason at all for this behavior. What a child. The faces he makes. Unprofessional. This is why I do what I do and I run across tyrants like this and I get to expose tyrants like this to the world. To the world and I love it. There's nothing better. There's nothing better than to expose a petulant child tyrant to the world. So you are not permitted to film on the premises. Alright, so you've been informed. So if you continue to film, we're going to take action here. Take action what way? It's a simple trespass, so it's an infraction. So you start off there. So you are you are you aware that you cannot film here? Because I, I notified you now. So I cannot film on the, right where I'm standing, I cannot film. Okay talking about inside the building okay so that's why we need to be clear with our words here right you are so dumb you are really dumb for real so let's be clear so, so you, you, so under, you understand in, you cannot film inside you the said building. property and then you said building inside the building on the property inside the building okay not on the property inside the building we're on the property public property so you're saying inside the building which is also public property i cannot film or else I'm just trying to get kind of. I'm. I'm trying. You're the okay. one giving. You're the one trying to give unlawful orders, sir. Property, right. You can film out there. Or else, what would happen to me? Okay. I just explained it to you, right? We're going to start with a simple trespass infraction. So you'll arrest me? No, it's a ticket. It's a ticketable offense for right now. It's a ticketable offense. Correct. Do you want to check with your supervisor because it, this didn't end well for the last? stay trooper or I, I don't want to check with my supervisor i'm telling you you asked me the question i'm answering so you understand that you cannot film here correct so at this time i'm going to ask you to put your phone away okay unless you want to go out there and film you're more than permitted to film out there well i don't want a ticket okay are you going to comply with what i'm telling you yes or no that, that that's all i want to know well you i'm going to go out there but you could write the ticket anyway come on you could write the ticket come on you could write it anyway i'm going to go out here though and you could write the ticket this is cop baiting and that's all it is. Clicks and views. Come on. Let's go. And then you can write your ticket. I'm going to move over here to where you say I can't film. Well, I can film anyway. Your unlawful order violated my constitutional rights. And I want the ticket so I can take you to court and hold you accountable. You can give it to me. And this is how much he cares about the taxpayers. He just wants to go to court, give me the ticket so I can go to court, file a lawsuit, take the taxpayer's money, and he's supposed to be saying that he's there fighting for your rights? Bullshit. Big mistake here. Big mistake here, fellas. There's no reason for this. You think it's funny that, that you guys are violating my constitutional rights? You think do it's funny? Like no, I'm okay. not. Do I look like I'm talking to you? I'm talking right. to you. Do you, you're, you're do you think, do you here. think, do you, you think that it's funny? In there. Do you understand? You the I'm talking to you, sir. Do you think that it's funny? He's look at him. Right <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to her. Give me the ticket. Come on. Ridiculous. What a bunch of tyrants. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
I love it when a plan comes together. That guy was giving me the thumbs up. He supports. He supports the mission. Make sure you keep those body cameras on. <laughs> so they got their body cameras on, so we'll know exactly what they're talking about. I'm gonna request the footage and I'll do another video. I'll do another video on that. So this sergeant, even the probation officer inside, said that we had the right to film, that it's a public space. But because of this Karen of a woman, the supervisor, she wants to call men with guns. Now look at this bootlicker going up to the cars and getting his nose all bent out of shape and licking lenses and everything. <laughs> Good job, LIA. To the curb. And threaten us. So this is one of the state troopers' vehicles here. As you can see, he carelessly left open his laptop with a female's profile on it. I wonder if he's stalking his ex-girlfriend or something. He seems like the type. It's probably the sergeant's vehicle. We'll see whose vehicle it is when we come back. Probably st stalking his girlfriend, just like the Connecticut State Police Officer who did that, who works with Sergeant Fahey got arrested for stalking his girlfriend that maybe they all stalked their girlfriends here in the state of Connecticut and used their police powers to do that is there something you can help me with yes no is this your vehicle it's not okay so you know you can't be on the property inside the property who gave you that who you gave you that order again I'm, I'm who gave I'm you letting, who I'm gave you, know. you the order do you because understand? Yes, because no. before before you were saying that I could film, and then somebody gave you an order. What a bunch of clowns. Oh, I really, really have a distaste for tyrants. I hate tyrants. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Absolutely hate tyrants. Okay, folks, we're going to end this right there with LIA, the bootlicker himself, doing this epic walk of shame. This is nothing but clicks and views. It's cop baiting. That's all this is. So with that uh, said, please share, like, and subscribe. And please check out my merch store. i got a lot of great uh, new products in there. Um, so with that being said, Debo's out.